because everything we need can be found in the kitchen cupboard. Please welcome Dale Pinnock and Colleen Nolan. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Now, do you spend as much as the next woman on cosmetics and stuff? Well, yes, I do, actually, and it does horrify me, the price of some of them, and it, especially the ones that say, oh, it does this, that and the other, that's all mm. very well, but they're so expensive. They're, it's ridiculously expensive, mm. Dan. I mean, presumably, then, you can save thousands of pounds by <laughs> going <laughs> into... You can know, save a bit, and, you know, some of these amazing ingredients that, obviously, we know are very good for our bodies on the inside can do wonderful things for the outside, too. And so... this is proven, is it? We know this, because I don't want you wasting my viewers' time with this. Oh, I mean, <laughs> Yes. Yes. Yeah. OK, let's find out who are... I was going to use the word guinea pigs, but it's, <laughs> un it's unfortunate, really, isn't it? So, Jodie Lee, you look perfectly normal and lovely to me. <laughs> what are your problems in terms of cosmetics? What do you need? I find that my hair gets very dry and brittle, and even if I, like, deeply moisturise it with oils and stuff, it's still, when I brush it, it almost snaps off and clogs up my hairbrush. And also I have a problem with dry skin along here, especially when I come out of the gym and I like to go swimming a lot. This area just gets very tight. Oh, what so. can we do there? Mm. Well, the first thing we've got is like an intensive hair treatment. Okay. Right. So we've got some really ripe avocado here, really rich in vitamin E and essential fatty acids, so it can really help to moisturise the skin. I've just kind of crudely mashed that. And what are you putting Obviously, it you'd in? mash it and make it a lot thinner when you've got. Right. What's, what's it going in? A couple of egg whites. <laughs> Be okay. very afraid. Nice. <laughs> Some olive oil, so again, oh, all of these good fats yeah. to actually really, really moisturise the hair yeah. and really soften it. That Some of that in there. there. And then just give it a good mix. What, really mash it up? Really mash it up, really get in there. I mean, it's going to look like a bit it's of a strange fun, though, isn't it? It's it great is. fun, especially when you're applying it to somebody else. Oh, Chaotic chemistry. So you whisk that all up, and then you yeah. just literally put that on, on the hair. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Obviously, you, this. you would take a little bit more time to Go mash on, it up. Mash <laughs> Now, Mrs. Madam. How long has yes. Jodie Lee got to keep that on for? Been on holiday this year, madam. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to enjoy that. What else? <laughs> They what? wouldn't pay for a top beautician. <laughs> so, the next, <laughs> next thing we've got this is like a natural lipstick. Right. It's beetroot. Beetroot? Beetroot, well, absolutely. Smashed up lip. Yeah, well, yeah. there's, there's a, a oh, compound in there called done. beta cyanin. That's yeah. the thing that actually gives yes. it that strong colour and stains everything. Right. It's okay. very good. Turning so, her into put your mouth. <laughs> close your mouth. Lips together. Oh, now oh, we actually, see lovely yeah. lipstick as well. No, I missed a bit there, but. Don't lick your lips. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, it's going all... The... There we are. Yeah. Oh, lovely, look, oh, it's good colour. Yeah, OK. Beetroot for lipstick. <laughs> That's a really good one. And then this, this one here is like a nice little... Um, right, we'll just leave it there. ..little moisturiser. Oh, so there. this... And what's this made of? So this is coconut milk. Yes. Coconut contains a certain type of fat called yeah. lauric acid, yep. which is actually similar in chemical structure to the sebum in our skin. Yeah. So the body treats it in the same way, pulls it in. So just it coconut the milk. So and there's a little bit of almond oil in there as well. This is the moisturiser. So we've, skin. we spoke about price there. We'll the try hair treatment. Around. Yeah. Total cost of that 62 pence. Wow. An equivalent from the chemist, for example, would be about five. And if you're doing it at home, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can leave... How long would you leave it on for before you wash it off? With, with the hair mask, that would probably be sort of 30 to 40 minutes, like wrap right. it up in a towel and then wash oh, it so out. stay in the bathroom. Stay in the bath, preferably, actually. Yeah. Right, so we're sorting you out. Lipstick, 20p. 20p for a beetroot. It tastes Moist good. I really don't like beetroot. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And quickly, we've got to move through. And then the, the, uh, the moisturiser, 50p. 50p, it's much cheaper, isn't it? Pia, what would you like sorted? Nothing. Oh, you're not nothing now. See <laughs> what's happening over here. What can I do for you, madam? Oh, God. Um, well, I have a really dry scalp. Yeah. Um, at certain days, but when I wash my hair, it, it tends to get quite greasy. Yes. Um, so I, I find myself having to wash my hair every two days. So something that would balance out balance the pH, yeah, yeah, it would be really great. Anything um, else? I've got an oily T-zone. Oh, oily and, um, T, right, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, and just during the winter, I do get dry skin around here, so... Oh, she's oily there, she's dry there. Oh, and then I can't decide what it's doing, actually. <laughs> what can right. you offer, Pia? We're starting off with a nice little natural cleanser. This yeah. is chamomile tea. You would right. actually take the bag out and use that like a, oh, like a cleansing pad. Oh, off you go. I'm off. Off you go, right. <laughs> Camera yes. We're going to move forward. The next thing swiftly. that we've got is um, a mask yes. made from egg whites. Now, yes. egg whites contain a protein called albumin. <laughs> Is this after the chamomile tea? This is after the chamomile, yeah. Look at that. It's sort of high tea, really, isn't it? Protein in there called albumin actually yeah. helps to 
calm down sebaceous secretions, calms down oil production in the skin. So you've got oily skin egg whites. Yeah, it can take, take the shine off for quite a while. Right. OK, so we've sorted her out. Anything else for Pierre? And we've got a, an exfoliator as well that you yeah. could use. Which is? Brown sugar and olive oil. So brown sugar, the coarse texture, it's like a mechanical exfoliant. So yeah. it's actually taking off dead skin cells. Then the olive oil actually helping to, to put some moisture in. Pia, we'll come over and do this to you in a minute, because I think you're looking a bit terrified. <laughs> now then, Lisa, what, have you got any problems you want? Or you give well, up? how long you got? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got, didn't um... mean with boyfriends or anything like that. I was thinking more sort of cosmetics. Yeah. No, I've got dry skin. Um, so when you get a bit older, I think your skin dries out a bit. So if a facelift would be great. But... Um, and just obviously my hair as well, I get quite dry hair. I'm styling it, curling it, you know, um, with hair drying every day. A lot so, of, yeah. A lot so. of drying out, dry skin, dry hair. Right, we've got a nice little face mask made from banana. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> just. Now, people have seen that you a bit of fun. Yeah. Mashed banana <laughs> as a face mask. It. Absolutely, it's really, really soothing. Actually helps to calm cry. the skin, puts some moisture back into the skin as well. Very, very rich, very cleaning. Liz, I'm. <laughs> Doctor will be with you shortly. Um, so just mashed bananas. That's it. Yeah, absolutely. And how long would you leave it on for? Again, you could leave that on for about 10, 15 minutes. How interesting. <laughs> and then we've yeah. got an interesting That's natural nice. hairspray. So rather yeah. than covering the hair in lots of chemicals all the time. Yeah. What have you got there then? Vodka. Vodka. Yes. <laughs> Spraying your hair with vodka. To actually set it and style it, yeah. Really? If it doesn't work, you drink the rest of it and you don't yeah, care. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but if she goes out in an evening and she sprayed her hair with vodka, all the guys are going to think she's a bit of a dipso, aren't they, really? <laughs> <laughs> How do you smell that hair? <laughs> she's drunk so much, she's coming out and I've got to give them that. Shall we give this? Go on, you know you want to, don't you? Go on, oh, yes. <laughs> on, on the hair. So oh, vodka on there. So what's a bit more expensive oh, for the hairspray, oh, then? Yeah, I mean, it works oh. out like 53p an application. 53p an application. Yeah, right. And a banana. <laughs> and it really is, this sounds like a joke, but you're serious about all these, they all work. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's so many active compounds in natural ingredients. I'm astonished. <laughs> I'm astonished. If you want to try any of these beauty recipes at home, one, <laughs> go into the bathroom and lie in the bath. <laughs> Go to the website, <laughs> itv.com <laughs> forward slash <laughs> Alan Life. Thanks to Jodie Peer and Lisa, Colleen Nolan and Dale Pinnock. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> 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 Alan, my next guest is one of the UK's best-loved magicians.